Tokyo. I'm Aki Shibuya. Let's start with the headlines. We start with a political scandal that's dividing Japan's diet. Finance Minister Taro Aso is facing pressure to resign. His ministry admitted it altered the paper trail of a controversial land deal to remove the name of the prime minister's wife. Prosecutors in Osaka Prefecture, where the land was sold, have been investigating the deal. And NHK has learned that they too were initially handed altered documents. Meanwhile, people have taken to the streets to express their outrage over the scandal. Protesters gathered near the Diet Building in Tokyo on Tuesday. <music> Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has met with a South Korean envoy to discuss the early details of two summits. Sokun briefed Abe on an inter-Korean summit planned for the end of April, as well as a proposed meeting between the U.S. president and North Korea's leader. A U.N. special rapporteur says any potential talks with North Korea should also include a discussion about human rights in the country. Meanwhile, the U.S. Secretary of State says there are still a number of details that need to be ironed out about the proposed U.S.-North Korea summit. People suffering dementia in Japan can find themselves cut off from society. But at one care facility, they're encouraged to discover the rewards of working and contributing to the community. It's time for World Weather with our meteorologist, Jonathan O. Hello, Jonathan. Hello, Aki. <laughs> so it's so warm in Tokyo. It feels like mid-spring. Can I put away my heavy coats? Well, if the mornings are not too cool for you,